Hey, this is Mitch. Just going to shoot you that quick video about how to outrank the local competition and get some more clients online. So I see that you don't have a website here, but you do have a Facebook page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at three of your top competitors' websites, see what they're doing, how they're getting all their clients, and how you can outrank them to get some of those clients for yourself. So the three tips that I'm going to give you is content, backlinks, and citations, and we're going to go over all of them. So for content, Google likes to see about a thousand words of content on a home page. That's just all these words that we can highlight. Google can also read what you save your images as. So you want to make sure that you're saving them as keyword intent phrases and not just the number one. And we'll go over keywords in a couple minutes. So I saw that you did uh, lawn care and pressure washing. So I'll take a look at both of those right in Roanoke. They've got a little bit of content, more videos than anything. Um, but easily beatable for content. And then another one for lawn care. They barely have any content. I think a thousand words would have all your competition built. That way, at least you'll know how to build a website out the right way and to get more clients. So the next thing we'll talk about is backlinks. And all a backlink is, is a link from one website to another website. And when you link the websites, they're gonna pass power. So not all backlinks are created equal. You wanna go after those high power backlinks. On Arif's, one of the paid tools that I use, they rank a website's power with UR and DR. You want these two numbers here as close together as possible and as high as possible. And that's gonna to lead to a more powerful website and let you rank higher for those keywords. So this number needs to be a lot higher. Uh, they only have 30 backlinks coming in. Um, grown up pressure washing, uh, very low power. Uh, that means that these websites would be very easy to outrank and get yourself uh, ranking above them. Um, and again, very little power. Uh, oops. The good thing is, is we can actually go in and take a look and see what backlinks all your competition is getting. Because if we put them on the first page of Google, it'll put you on the first page of Google too. You just want to get those same links and then get more. And um, then you'll start ranking for the keywords. Now to give you an idea about what all that backlinking will do, we'll take a look at some of those keywords right now. So this column is going to be the search term on Google. This column is going to be the average monthly search volume. And this column is the KD or the keyword difficulty. It just tells us how hard and how long it's going to take to rank for these keywords. It's ranked on a scale of zero to 100, with zero being the easiest, 100 being the hardest. So you wanna go after those high volume, low KD keywords. But to be honest with you, in your area, all your keywords are looking pretty easy right now. So you can see that there is 100 people a month on average searching for lawn care Roanoke VA. Uh, this company's in the fourth position and they're getting an average of 13 clicks a month on their website for people looking for lawn care in Roanoke. So they're already looking for your services. Um, you just want to be the top ranked uh, search and you'll get a lot of those people contacting you. Let's take a quick look over here at pressure washing. Uh, pressure washing Roanoke, 30 searches a month, uh, 2KD. Um, and you can do this with the other, I know you said you service up to three hours away. Um, you know, if you start ranking in Roanoke, you might not have to travel as far, or if you still do want to travel, there's definitely other um, cities that you can do the same thing with and find out the search volume for all those other cities. So the last thing we're going to talk about is citations. If I were to search Lawn Care Roanoke VA, you're going to see this uh, Google Map Pack pop up with the top three Google My Businesses, and sometimes ads will be here too, but you want to be in these top three Google My Businesses. In order to get up there, you first want to make sure that your Google My Business is completely optimized. So as many pictures as possible, saved in the right format. Google likes it 1,024 megapixels by 1,024 megapixels. They like it to be saved as keyword, in, uh, as keyword intent phrases. And they also like you to fill out your description with all 750 characters that they let you fill out. Just by looking uh, and not counting, I'd say this one's probably using about half. You want to use all 750 characters, and you also want to put some of those keyword intent phrases in here as well. After you have that optimized, you can go after citations, which are just name, address, phone number, listed on as many online directories as possible. 
Those are going to be like Yellow Pages, Yelp, Hot Frog. There's hundreds out there that you've probably never heard of. And a lot of times they're also going to give you a spot for a backlink as well. So you can kind of kill two birds with one stone and go after the citations to rank in the map pack at the same time as you're going after um, the backlinks to rank in the organic search engines. If you have questions about any of this or you need help implementing it and building out a website that's going to outrank your local competition, feel free to let me know. I'd be more than happy to jump on a phone call and take a little bit of a deeper dive into this with you.